Learning for Kids First, and today I'll be reviewing the podcast live from Mount Olympus. The podcast is great, it's really engaging, and it follows one of my favorite topics, Greek mythology. The introduction introduces Perseus, and it's amazing how they bring the story to life, even in the intro. The storyline follows Perseus, son of Zeus and Princess Danae. Baby Perseus, due to a prophecy of him killing his grandfather, the king of Argos, is locked in a wooden crate along with his mother and pushed out to sea. The crate lands on the island of Seriphus, where Perseus grows up, oblivious to his destiny and who he is. When King Polydectus tries to force Danae to marry him, Perseus makes a crazy vow to save his mother from the evil king that leads him on all sorts of quests. Medusa? Sure. Sea monsters? Why not? Titan Atlas? Bring it on. I've read a lot of mythology and know that when a god has a child with a mortal, that child is considered a demigod. Demi means half, so that person is half god. The most famous demigods in Greek mythology are Heracles and Perseus. When I read about Perseus, he's mentioned for the first time on page 12, because there's so much to mention beforehand. So I really like how Live from Mount Olympus gets straight to the point and fits Perseus' story so nicely that he's mentioned straight away. Live from Mount Olympus is a really nice representation of his story. It's just super engaging. I love how writers Alexi Basil and Ethan Youngerberg wrote it so that it's very lifelike and you feel as if you are actually there watching it all. I also like the accent of the genre. When I heard that, I sort of perked up. It just makes you pay attention. Tony Award winner Andrew the Shields voices Hermes, messenger of the gods and narrator of the show. It's really nice to have Hermes telling the story. She just makes you want to keep listening. The only issue I have with the entire podcast is that sometimes the voiceover actors, the tone of voice they're using doesn't match the words that they're saying. In spite of this, the entire podcast is really amazing. I don't think I could imagine a better adaptation of the myth of Perseus. The podcast teaches multiple lessons. Um, I think before you speak, listen to your parents, don't make rash promises, or just a few. Uh, I really like Life from Mount Olympus, and I rate it 4.5 out of 5 stars. It's engaging, it's amazing, and I recommend it for all ages, 4 to 18 plus adults. If a person enjoys Greek mythology, or really any mythology, this podcast is a must. Even my 5-year-old brother was hooked. You can listen to Live from Mount Olympus on Tracks or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks for listening. This is Alma reporting for Kids First. Catch you next time.